Do you travel with a smart or dumb crowd? Everglass.com. In his book, The Wisdom of Crowds, James Sirickey tells the 1906 story of eugenicist Francis Galton, who attends a country fair in Plymouth, England, for research. The attendees have to guess an ox's weight in order to win its meat. No one gets the correct answer individually, but when Galton averages their numbers as a crowd, it is nearly perfect. This experiment has been repeated many times since with similar results, and you can try it too with a jar of jelly beans. Please let me know how you do in the comments below. The first condition needed to create a smart crowd is decentralization. In other words, you do not have a leader telling everyone what to think. Secondly, a smart crowd must be diverse. That is, it should vary in education, beliefs, and experiences. Thirdly, a smart crowd should be independent, in which each person thinks for themselves, not suffering from an echo chamber of groupthink. We have all seen dumb crowds who lack these qualities, from the Salem witch hunts to political demagoguery. So on your next trip, avoid this dark side by doing your own social research. I'm Mark Thomas for Anthronauts.com. Travel with culture, and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.